Welcome back. Take a look at this. I'm so excited to introduce you to our next guest. Anne Marie McDonald is the Vice President of PR and Communications for Gab Wireless. And if you loved that video, and now you're excited to learn more about some new Coolio gift that you hadn't thought of for your grandkids, here's our opportunity to address it. Anne Marie, welcome to the show. Thank you for having me. I'm so excited to hear about what Gab Wireless is actually doing. I think what you guys are up to is amazing. So why don't you tell us a little bit about how you came to this and what you're doing? So I am a mom of four and my kids range in age from six to 16. So we are very much in the trenches of all things kids, all things teenagers. And I started to hear the question that most parents hear, which is, when do I get my first, when do I get my first phone? And, uh, you know, the kids were asking and my oldest asked, and I, I knew I didn't want to give him an iPhone because of all of the things that that can unlock, even with parental controls, there is just so much about an iPhone that can be hard on these, on our kids. And so I actually found Gab wireless for a solution for my family. And I loved it so much. I came knocking on their door and said, let me help spread the word about Gab. Gab is safe tech for kids. We provide all sorts of different options for families so that their so families can have peace of mind when they give technology to their family. That's amazing. And I know that you are not the only one who struggles with it. And, you know, from ages two on up, and I know when you have older kids in the house, it does become even an earlier process for the younger ones to want to keep up. But you guys are doing something that I think is really cool and you're calling it Tech in Steps. So how does that work? That's right, Tech in Steps. So we've, ta we've taken the guesswork out of technology for families. So we, we understand that you can't just give an iPhone to a two-year-old uh, because of all the things that they could be exposed to. Too. Uh, so we have done it in a way that when that child is starting to start, starts to uh, want, starts to be of age where they can play at the park, then you give them our first step, which is our watch light. It's a carabiner, which is really fun. You can strap onto your kid's backpack or, um, or a belt loop and the mom and mom and dad can see from an app on their phone where their child is. The child can push a button if they're feeling nervous or they can, they can find an emoji that sends to their parents uh, certain communications. So it's our first step. Then our second step is our watch. And our watch is a phone that allows for a child to call home, call grandma, call a selected 10 contacts uh, that the parent can decide from their phone when they're just learning how to use a phone, but don't have to necessarily carry it around. It's strapped to their wrist so they can play and have fun. And our third step is our phone, an entirely safe device that doesn't have the junk, doesn't have gaming, doesn't have social media, but it has the 14 essentials that your kids need to, uh, to connect and stay protected. Tell me about that. So the idea of not having internet already, again, that was that was always the thing in our house. Um, my brother has a 10 and 12 year old and I was homeschooling them through COVID and and they were we were pretty well disconnected except for computers. But then, you know, came the time they wanted phones and they wanted connectivity, but the internet and control was the issue. So how do you control for that? And what has Gab done? What are these 14 things? Well, first, I commend you for homeschooling your family. That was that was such a hard time for so many families, and you stepped up and and did that is is remarkable. So thank you. I, I think it is truly it's truly you learn quickly when you homeschool that teachers are definitely underpaid because it is hard work. 
And you also learn that you're a lousy teacher. Oh, you, <laughs> I definitely learned some hard lessons there along the way too. So I, I hear you. It is. It was quite the journey in our family as well. But, you know, the hard part about parenting and homeschooling is you have to be intentional um, because it is so easy for a child to be exposed to things on the internet. Mm -hmm. Um, You can't be everywhere that they are. You just, you can't, it, it, it is, it is not possible. And so we've come up with a device that you can give your child with peace of mind that doesn't have the internet. Our phone has 14 essential apps. It has calling, texting, camera, calendar, GPS. So if your child leaves the phone behind at soccer practice, you can make sure to pick up that phone that happens. Uh, or if you're trying to locate your child, we have, we have that uh, ability as well. Uh, we have FM and AM radio and all of the things that your child needs, but not the things that can, um, that they're not ready for. So it's peace of mind with those 14 essential apps. That's super. How do you divide the age groups? Like at what point do you see the, your client base or people moving from the, the light version to the watch and then to the phone? That's a great question. So as a parent, I found that my kids are different maturity levels, uh, depending on the type of child that they are. And so that we, we don't really do age ranges. We do maturity. And so as a parent or grandparent, you start to notice when it's time you start to start to notice when they're asking for the phone, you, you begin to see when they're ready to play at the park down the street without you sitting there and watching every step. So really we do have recommendations where the light would be for preschool and maybe first grade, second grade, but then by second or third grade, they're ready for that watch. And then typically about 11 or 12, they're ready for a phone. But again, those are just loose suggestions. And really we want the parent to decide because we know that you understand your child best. Yeah, that's, that's super. And I think there is definitely based on the child. And I remember my nephew who was way advanced at a very early age, my niece, who was more of a grasshopper and kind of just came lightly into this world. (laughs) Yes. you know, it was all play all the time. Um, they are they are very funny that way. But one of the things that really jumps out at me here is my mother, for instance, uses an iPhone, which has way more stuff on it than she actually needs. And I would love to see her connect with my niece, for instance, on the phone level where there isn't all that interruption, but they're able to use it like a phone use it to stay connected. Is it more of like a walkie talkie or is it, is it actually a phone function? It's a phone. It looks like a phone. It, it, it is a phone. It just, we've, we've engineered it with safety in mind where it's simple. And, you know, sometimes simple is best. And we have quite a few seniors that use our phone for the very same reasons. It's simplified tech. It's a way to connect without all of the all of the buttons and hard things to to make work. It just is simple. It's straight out of the box, easy and peace of mind. So if my parents are driving, for instance, they use GPS a lot, it would function as a normal GPS function. We, it, it, we don't have maps at this time. It's, it's coming, but we do have GPS function. If they leave it behind uh, that, they could find the phone. Got it. Okay. So it feels to me a little bit, and we talked about this when we were uh, just before we started recording, <laughs> that it feels a little bit like a Dick Tracy moment where, you That's know. Right. In <laughs> fact, my grandma, she writes a letter to our family every week and does the family news. And many of our family members have the Gab watch. And she said, it's just like Dick Tracy. They just can get on their wrist and call me. And it makes me so happy every single time I see Carson on my, on my phone, knowing that he's calling me from his wrist. <laughs> so you're right. It is that Dick Tracy uh, magic. And um, the great thing is the kids can run and play, but they can still call grandma and tell, them, tell her that they love her. That they love her and they can call mom and tell her that they're safe. So 
Yes. Those are the key pieces. And what what else about this has really jumped out? Like from the consumer side, the reviews that you've gotten, everything is so positive around the safety and being able to introduce technology in a really unique way. Um, what else are you hearing in terms of the actual product review? That it's affordable. Uh, you know, parents, they they are so happy that they can give this solution to their to their family. I mean, our our it's up to you as if if you'd like to sign a contract or it's month to month, you get to decide. And the great news is is that it our our devices are under a hundred dollars. And iPhones, we all know that that is that's that's not even you can't you can't even find a, an an iPhone that's not hundreds of dollars. So our watches and phones and our light. Uh, it's just an amazing price point. And right now for the holidays, I know you guys are running special. So why don't you tell us about that? We are. We're running 50% off of our devices. So it's a great time to get them for your family. Uh, you can use the code HOLIDAY for 50% off at, um, at the checkout. And, you know, we're running it through December, but you wouldn't believe this is a, this is a hot product this month. Families, we just want them to get it and buy it soon so you can get it in time for Christmas. Well, thank you so much for that special offer and also for keeping our families safe. But I also know that you guys promote something called Gab Life. Like it's just a much bigger spectrum than just a phone or just a piece of technology. Tell us about that. Well, thank you for asking. We promote connection and the way to connect is off screen. So we have a movement called Gab Life where we, where we inspire kids to learn instruments, get off their phone, connect with their family and truly live life to the fullest. It's amazing to think about all the things that you can learn if you're off screen. So that's truly what our company promotes is that human connection is the best part of life. Absolutely. And I couldn't agree more. And on that note, happy holidays to you. Happy and holidays. thank you for sharing Gab Wireless with us today. We'll be right back.